don't tread on me. Those are words that I stand by, homie. It doesn't mean I'm gangster. It doesn't mean I'm country. It means that my life is in my hands only. I don't have money for security. I don't have armed guards that I keep stuck around me. You don't think I deserve protection like you do, and that means you don't give a fuck about me. Gated community, that's what you live in. Hatred and mutiny, that's what we live in. So come down here and hang with us for a minute. See if you leave with the same fucking opinion. Okay, this one falls under how damn dumb can you be? Don't take a picture while in uniform with your package hanging out while being investigated for bullying your own officers. Let's watch these two short news clips about Chief well, Dustin, Dustin Carr. Carr was only police chief in Millersville for 116 days. He resigned abruptly this past Monday following controversy that now seems to include a graphic picture exposing himself while in uniform. Andy Cordan went to Millersville to look into this story and joins us with the latest. Yeah, you know, Dustin Carr was a Millersville cop for 10 years. I've worked with him countless times on many police stories. Now, when he resigned, it kind of came out of left field. He told me that he was uh, tired of little town politics. He wanted to spend more time with his family, and he was taking a job in the private sector. At 1.42 Monday morning, Millersville City Manager Scott Avery tells me Police Chief Dustin Carr sent him a text that abruptly stated that Dustin Carr was resigning as the Millersville Police Chief, a post that Carr had only held since April 7th. By week's end, a graphic picture of Dustin Carr emerges, and it's shared across the Internet. News 2 has seen the picture. It's not appropriate for television. But it shows Carr wearing his police uniform, his badge, and his gun. And he's exposing himself while standing in front of a mirror. It's unclear when the picture is taken or how it was disseminated. I can't really talk about how I learned about the picture, but... Uh, but you have seen it. I have. I've seen it twice now, and I've never had possession of it. It's never been given to me. No formal complaint was ever filed with me, which is what the law requires. According to the city manager, had Carr still been the police chief when he learned of this lurid picture, Scott Avery tells me that he would have taken decisive action. There would have been immediate uh, administrative leave. An investigation would have been started. If the picture was validated and verified, I would have terminated the employee. Um, you know, technically, I guess I could still investigate it, but why are we going to spend man hours investigating something that no longer is relevant? Because on the surface, I do not see a crime right. which requires us to investigate. And the violations of the personnel rules no longer apply because he's not an employee as of Sunday night. In a statement, Dustin Carr tells News 2, the photograph in question was taken privately. It was shared illegally without my consent in order to harm me and my family. I want the citizens of Millersville to know that throughout my entire career, I always took pride in performing my duties with great honor and integrity. I'm thankful for the opportunity to have been able to serve the Millersville community. Following my voluntary resignation, I'm excited to have the opportunity to spend more time with my supportive wife and children as I pursue a new career in the private sector. I'm unable to make further comments at this time. Now, while Dustin Carr says the image was shared illegally, the city says no crime has been committed, and at this time they have no plans to investigate. Dustin Carr turned in his resignation after only 10 months on the job. He and former city employees were named in a lawsuit that claims the city covered up systemic racism. News Channel 5's investigative reporter Levi Ismail has followed this story and the lawsuit from the very beginning. Levi, this is a lot of change in a short amount of time. Where does the city stand right now? Well, just like we mentioned, this is the third police chief that they'll be searching for in a matter of just a year. While none of these city officials say their departures had anything to do with the lawsuit they face, it's pretty tough to ignore. Dustin Carr turned in his resignation this morning and told city manager Scott Avery that he found another opportunity that allows him more time with family. So for that reason, he's stepping away from the job he's only had since February. That's when former Chief Mark Palmer retired five, after five years as Millersville's top cop. Both men, along with former Mayor Tim Lassiter, were named in a lawsuit filed by former Millersville police officers just last year. Officers sued the men and the city of Millersville for allegedly conspiring to hide systemic racism in the department. They claimed city officials routinely used the N-word to bully certain officers. Officers also said they were intimidated into not cooperating when TBI investigated Carr for domestic violence. Carr's resignation now means all three of the defendants named in the lawsuit have either retired or resigned.
Former city manager Steve Colley also left his position shortly after Mayor Lassiter, both of which said one thing had nothing to do with the other. We do know that TVI turned over the findings of its investigation into Carr to the Robertson County District Attorney's Office. We don't know at this point what those findings were or if the DA is considering any charges. In the meantime, City Manager Avery is in the process of appointing an interim chief before launching a nationwide search for a permanent replacement. This is, of course, a developing story, so we'll have details when they're available.